y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl alizé and i am back again with another lit video y'all this one this one this one's gonna be a banger if you are new here don't forget to press that subscribe button and thumbs up this video right now all right you guys i know this video is so long overdue like i bet y'all like girl bobby is about to end his show what are you doing listen i understand i was very skeptical on making this reaction video because i had got a lot of feedback when i would react to the bad boys of la show you guys i got called so many names from the LBGQTRSTVUWXY community and it's to no disrespect at all I'm just a free spirit I'm an open book I say whatever's on my mind and I know that can get you in trouble a lot of the times which I understand but like my type of humor is not gonna be understood in a lot of areas which I understand well, I have nothing against anyone that is gay anyone that's bisexual any transgenders I have nothing against anyone I have best friends who are gay I definitely don't have anything against anyone anyone who's gay that type of genre comes with a lot of controversy and politics and I'm not for that at all um, it's just that sometimes when I talk I could definitely talk and you know maybe sometimes I need to muzzle them you know so I was really skeptical when it came to reacting to Bobby's show because I didn't want anyone to think that I was like that because I'm definitely not I don't play around with the LBGTQ community baby I don't play with them you could say one wrong thing and they are jumping on your back listen I'm not homophobic baby I love y'all okay now keep God in your life but you know I was getting a lot of comments like girl where are you at we need you to react to the show like come on forget those comments we need you to react so I'm like you know what I'm gonna just react to the show and plus I have been tuning in I have been watching it and I think it is something that I could react to so as you guys could tell by the title in this video I will be reacting to Bobby I love you per the trailer yes I'm starting from the trailer babe because I ain't got time to go back and react to his episodes he moving a little too quick for me and his episodes be a little bit too much for me we're just gonna react to the trailer I'm gonna watch it off my laptop I ain't gonna do too much talking because you already get the point of this video so without further ado let's jump right into it before I jump into this video, I just want to say, y'all, there's two things that I want to say. One, whenever y'all see me wear this hat, okay, hey, baby girl, means we got a bad hair day. So just excuse the hat and the braids that y'all see struggling in the back. Two, my YouTube channel is growing exceedingly. Like, I did not expect me to have as many subscribers as I have today. I really started YouTube as a hobby. Now it's becoming something more like a scheduled base activity <laughs> so um i just want to say that when i do reach 1000 subscribers i will be having a giveaway comment down below giveaway and that's it you have entered the giveaway this is just for my 1k subscribers i'm gonna have multiple giveaways for multiple reasons but my first giveaway definitely has to be when i hit my first milestone which is a thousand subscribers on youtube so y'all be on the lookout for that let me stop talking because i ain't talk about nothing and let's jump right into this video this is my man, I'm taking him home, and that's it. I don't know why the rest of them here. I got butterflies in my stomach. Cameras don't do him no justice. My biggest competition is nobody. I'm just ready to get to oh, the man. Lord, I'm so fucking ready. Oh my God. I'm here, what's good? What up, guys? Oh, Who out here wants to be in love with Bobby? Mommy's not gonna be a whore no more. Ow. What's up? Ow. Hold up, let it make room. I'm the showcase that y'all gon' move. I rotate and place you smooth. Please make no mistake, you fools. Who's got love for Bobby Lies? Baby, I'm home. That's Gavin. I feel like a woman. <laughs> You're such a bad boy. No, I'm an angel. Stimulating your mind right now with this massage. Mm-hmm. Big one race fee. Listen. Oh, he oh, actually yeah. kissed it. Santa Claus is always watching. Bobby is too. I know. I know you ain't coughing at me, ho. You've been fucking on several different dating shows, oh. websites, porn pages. Ain't nobody in this house touched me. I ain't tried to touch no motherfucking body. I better leave me the fuck alone. Hey, if you want to be here, you gotta give me your phone. I'm gonna have to turn this one down. So you have a girlfriend. Oh! You selected a soulmate, and that's me. Made the best my event, but at the same time, we gotta get these fuckers. Oh. At this point, you made me sit home tonight. I don't give a fuck about this motherfucking wheelchair. Oh. Damn. This is gonna be a fun motherfucking experience. This is a lie. Y'all think it's a fucking game? Bitch, I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that's Bobby, bitch. You hide. hide. I ain't hiding nothing. Yeah. But you a girlfriend. Hey, wait, wait, where you going? Girl. Where you going? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I appreciate your trust, Nick. Let me see. Oh, oh. 
You get fucking attacked, it doesn't feel good. I've been through a lot and I've had to grow up, nigga, and really fight for myself all my life, bro. You got this shit, you a beast, bro. This how y'all gonna come and press? Stay your ass on that stage and put on the show. If you guys wanna explode all over each other, do it right here. Oh, this is messy. Let's just get rid of the motherfuckers that ain't here for you. Get home. You know this, yeah. bro. Stop. Get yeah, what, boy? I'm gonna beat that bitch ass. Oh. You are a fucking plan. You pushed me, dog. What touch you what? It was spit on me. I sure did. No, what the fuck you catch an attitude, me for? God. Pack his shit. Another one bites the motherfucking what? Dust. Yeah, you ain't got no chance. You already know what it is. You ain't got no chance. Bitch. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Ooh. Oh. 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 I would first like to say, Bobby, babe, um, did everyone take a mental evaluation before attending the show? Secondly, I want to say, Bobby, babe, where was I at when you was casting all these fine ass men? I done seen about two, three, four, maybe even five that I would have took home my damn self. I love that him and Roland Ray joined forces, came together, and made a show together. Because when I reacted to their argument on the conversation, I was like, why are they getting into it? There would actually be a really good duo. So I'm happy to see that they came together and made a show. Um, you know, I never really liked dating shows because I don't get the point of them. Half of those guys I've seen on the audition for Bad Boys, so it kind of just seemed like they was finding people to try to fill in the show. It just seems like they had to have feelings for Bobby as the show started to progress. It just kind of be like all over the place to me. Let's be realistic. Which one of those guys are Bobby really gonna take seriously? Because what it's looking like right now is that he really like his ex. He's been giving his ex too many chances. He been letting him slide. He been, he been letting him get away with murder, honey. And um, I just don't understand. I wouldn't have my ex back up in the house with me, especially after he went public with another public figure and basically embarrassed me worldwide. It just wouldn't happen. Sorry, babe, you wouldn't be on my show. I knew this reaction would be a little difficult for me because I really don't know what to say. You know, when you once you start talking too much, you know, you get certain people that, that start to come on your head because you start talking too much. I love Bobby. He's a Scorpio like myself. You know, we both crazy as hell. I don't know what Bobby had to do to get his own dating show, but uh, sign me up, baby. I seen somebody in a wheelchair, you know, I don't know what. I don't discriminate, so you know what, we gonna let that, you know. You know what, Bobby, honestly, Hot Wheels, the person in the wheelchair, probably be your best opponent, baby. Cause you ain't gotta stand up anywhere you go, you got you a permanent chair. Oh! Y'all waiting in line, you feel me, y'all at the movies or something, you can sit down. Like that right there, you should've took advantage of that pool. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it kinda looked like a hoax. It don't look like they're all there for Bobby. It just look like the man wanna be on TV, baby. Yeah, um, and then the, the one that looks like a little creature Whoa. with the three dreadlocks in his head and, and, and you know, the notepad. I don't know what he's on the show for. Cause Bobby, me and you both know you ain't finna be walking around with sketch pad on your hip. So it, the show just kinda look like a joke to me. Half the guys look like they are in relationship with girls. Like half of them don't even look Gay, you know, look like they just came out on the show. Um, I don't know. I don't really know what you're looking for, Bobby. I don't. I don't know. That's why it also took me so long to react to the show because it just looks so fake to me. I just don't know how you're looking for love in a group of porn stars. Like, and I mean, Bobby is aware of it. And you wanted to check their phone. What you thought you was gonna see in their phone? You know, I just feel like the whole show is set up for failure. I don't think they took it seriously when it came to picking guys, setting the show out right. I feel like even some episodes, he's trying to figure out what he gonna have the guys do. There's it's not good planning. Like you can just tell that show is just put together, just thrown together. Yeah. What's going on with everybody texting the handler? How does everybody know the handler? At this point, Hot Wheels brought in somebody that was well known because how is it that everybody was in contact with this man's handler? Something gotta be set up. Something had to be arranged. I don't know, was he a part of the script? Because how does he know everybody? And then Hercules has a girlfriend. So who's really there for Bob? We got porn stars, we got people that are best friends with the handler, and then we have 
people who are in relationships with females. It just seems like one big mess. I don't really know who's there for Bobby. I don't really know what to look at. I don't really know what's going on. And now I want to touch on the episode when Jocelyn was there, honey. Her Scorpio side was beaming that episode. One thing about us, if our mouth don't say it, our face is going to say it, baby. And Jocelyn just was not with seeing the man on men action. You could tell. She was so uncomfortable. I, I don't know. She just was not feeling it. I was trying to get the vibe from her that she was at least feeling some of them and she wasn't feeling none of them. Jocelyn, babe. Maybe she was just mad. Cause I ain't gonna lie, when a Bobby licked the cream off of Big Bird, I was a little confused, honey. I was a little lost. I said, oh, Bobby is hungry. Okay. And I ain't gonna lie, maybe like a part of me, you know I'm a Scorpio too, so you know, we sense, we, we know what's really going on. I feel like personally, respectfully, babe, I feel like Jocelyn was a little jealous of Island Boy because there was another Islander on TV who's fluent in his language and you know, like a little accent, sexy, dark skin. So, you know, Jocelyn was a little mad. Like, nah, I'm the Puerto Rican princess. We don't need another one, babe. I think that's what that was about. I don't really think, cause Island Boy didn't do anything to her. I don't even think they knew each other. I feel like once she knew that it was another Islander on TV, black, sexy with the accent, she was not having it. And I'm sorry, Jocelyn, but I like Island Boy. He fine the motherfucker, baby. He can stay on the show. Honestly, if Bobby get rid of him, I ain't watching it no more. These are all guys that were picked out of a random casting audition. So I highly doubt they were ever there for Bobby. <laughs> Let's be honest, more than half of the cast are bottoms. You can't mix bottom with bottom. It just don't go. You can't put someone feminine with someone feminine. You get what I'm saying? That alone let me know that no one on that show is there for Bobby. You know, I just smell opportunities in the cast. That's, that's what I smell. I'm sorry, Bobby Lights. I love you, babe. But sister, I don't think anyone is there for you. I think you picked the wrong cast but yeah you guys um i don't want to drag on this reaction because i really don't have much to say if i say too much then i'm coming off as homophobic and if i don't say too much then i'm boring um so i think i'm gonna just end the video here i think i've gotten enough out the show is very entertaining so far so of course i'm not gonna stop watching it but if you do get rid of island boy i'm, I'm not watching it anymore babe okay island boy is the only one that has shown you he is there for you so if you got rid of him then i would really be confused as to why the show is still on air but you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the show the only thing i like about it so far is the fact that rolling ray and bobby lights came together and made a show but i definitely think you guys need to reconsider your cast because they all look like they're just there to gain instagram likes especially after this last episode when he went through everyone's phone and some of the guys just didn't care to get kicked off because they didn't want him going through their phone which is understandable Bobby you couldn't go through my phone either baby it's just certain things you just cannot do that episode let me know that more than half of the guys were not there for you because I mean come on now half of them had excuses on why you couldn't go through their phone like like Crouton he said he had to sign an NDA Crouton if you signed an NDA you would not be on reality TV babe you already got on TV saying you were sexually assaulted that is already enough information that has broken your NDA you're a liar okay um but we're done talking about that I just want y'all to comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the show do y'all think it's a hit or miss are y'all tuned in give me some tea on the show also comment down below let me know who your favorite guy is on the cast like i said before my favorite so far is island boy i mean y'all know already how i feel about the fine dark piece of chocolate i don't care whether he gay or not <laughs> okay but you guys, that's the end of my reaction and the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Also, turn those post notifications on and comment down below, post notification squad, for a chance to get a shout out in my next video. Don't forget you guys, I will be having a giveaway once I get to 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Comment down below, giveaway. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.